Good morning. I'm in the Wild Neffin National Park this morning in County Mayo and uh, it looks like it's it's going to be okay. There was heavy rain um, sort of overnight and the way down and uh, a lot of the rivers are, are pretty swollen but again I think I've timed this just nicely that the, the weather front is disappearing east and there's sunshine coming in west. So the sun's just starting to break through. Uh, it's a lot of low cloud and, and mist about. Uh, and I haven't been here for a good few years. Um, I was here probably three years ago doing a Bangor Trail. And the walk I'm doing today and, and Wild Camp uh, I did six years ago. And that's up over Neffenbeg Mountain and a camp up on top of Sleeve Car, which is uh, the highest mountain here in the Neffenbegs. Uh, Nobody else here this morning in, in the car park at Letterkin Wood um, and that maybe doesn't surprise me um, but I'm really looking forward to, to this trip. I think it's going to be quite wet um, but hopefully it'll dry up as, as, as I go along so really really looking forward to it. This is the Altnaconi River and you can see there's a good flow in it. Uh, it's uh, well swollen with, with all that rain that there was overnight. And I've only two rivers to cross. This is one of them and there is a bridge which you can see. And there's a wee bridge over the other river as well. So crossing rivers and, and that shouldn't be too much of an issue in this trip. I'm following this little tributary of the Altnacone and I'm following it up uh, along the Bangor Trail up into the mountains and uh, the noise is just glorious it's just beautiful <laughs> So you can see this is uh, part of the path <laughs> and uh, not even the wee sort of stepping stones can help me out here so I'm going to have to skirt round up uh, and, and this sort of uh, path the Bangor Trail is notoriously uh, or notorious for just how, how wet it can be and even this first bit is, is like a, a way marked loop uh, walk the letter King loop so there's, there's actually been a, a wee bit of path work done but uh, just for the amount of rain that falls out here in, in the west of Ireland um, I, I just think it's, uh, it's, it's hard to manage that. Okay, I'll uh, hold my hands up. There's actually another bridge, so that's number three. <laughs> uh, I totally forgot about this one. Um, and actually it's handy today because uh, I, I think you could probably get across here, but it just would be a wee bit tricky with the water being up with, with all the overnight rain. So um, bridge number three is cool. I'll have a use on it. <laughs> It's 
So I've come up over a crest and I can now sort of see the, the northern hills of the, of the Nefflin Beggs and that's some of the ones that I'll be climbing. So over there that's Clenamong and up the Corabinia and up there that's the start of the, the climb up the Nefflin Beg and that's where I'm heading. And the trail, um, if I kept going this way, this is a Bangor Trail and you can see the warning sign there. So. If, if you headed on that way, you, you've probably been another 20 kilometres with not much option for sort of coming off, so you'd, you'd have to sort of commit to it. Um, and over there, if you can see, that's uh, the wee uh, mountain hut, and I'll go over and have a wee look at it. Again, it's been about six years since I've been here, so I'll see if it's anything's different. So the hut's uh, maybe not in, in as great a shape as when I was last here. See, uh, there's a water system, like a water button for collecting water, and that's all sort of falling in, into disrepair. Um, but the rest of the hut sort of seems okay. Um, you can see it's a decent area uh, for, for sleeping. And I'm certainly give you shelter from the prevailing westerly wind. So, um, nice wee spot. I'm not sure what the maintenance schedule is or how easy or difficult that is to do, but it's a, it's a fantastic thing to have out here in the, um, the Neffin wilderness. So, can I tell you about this jam? <laughs> I haven't had jam in years. So this year, I, I don't know, what, whatever way the weather was, there's been uh, some bounty of, of fruit out, out around the countryside. So I've been out collecting blackberries, damsons, apples, sloes. And uh, my mum has very generously uh, turned quite a bit of that into jam. So um, this is damson jam, uh, now there's also blackberry jam, there's plum jam and there's damson and apple jam. Uh, both the plum and damson uh, really cool jam, I haven't tasted the other two yet but I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm eating jam every day and uh, it's really really cool stuff, <laughs> I recommend jam. <laughs> Neffin Beg up there and uh, I've just come down off there and I'm down at one of the, the beautiful locks here and this is actually this exact spot is where I camped when I was doing a Bangor Trio um, so there was a lot more sand because it was during the summer um, so the, there wasn't as much water in the lock and I was absolutely eaten alive by midges and I had the bivy bag then and it was one of those times where you had to try and pull the bivy bag over your head to keep the midges out but also try and let air in and 
and uh, it wasn't a pleasant uh, experience at all. Uh, but today there, there's a nice wee breeze. It's the middle of October, so uh, the midges haven't uh, been a, a bit of bother uh, today. And that's um, Sleeve Car over there. So that's where I'm, I'm heading up after we stop here. The climb has begun, <laughs> uh, so I'm climbing up Sleeve Car, uh, and that's uh, Loch Kilnabinia down there, which is really, really cool. Uh, so there's a whole series of these Corrie locks along the eastern uh, side of Sleeve Car, uh, where, where the Corries have, have been sort of scraped out, um, and there's some really, really nice light uh, looking back over towards uh, Neffenbeg. <laughs> up <laughs> back in the sunshine uh, I was in the shade and I climb up there because it's sort of easily facing and if we see over to um, Neffin Bay gets clear of cloud and you can see down to um, the wee lock I come up past and there's another one down there if you look up to the summit of Sleeve Car, it's still in cloud, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know. 50-50, <laughs> uh, will it clear, will it not? Uh, but I'll, I'll keep on anyway. This is where I'm going to set up the bivvy. So I've, I've got a wee bit of shelter from this bank here, uh, just from the, the westerly wind. Uh, it's nice and flat. Uh, the ground's wet everywhere, so it doesn't matter <laughs> where I set up, it's going to be wet. So uh, and I've got a cracking view there um, out to the east, um, down to one of the quarry locks. And the mist, the, the mist is even uh, <laughs> spilling in over here. This is about 540 meters. First order of the day is to get the kitchen sorted. So <laughs> I've got water boiling for something to eat and a cup of tea. Um, and it is quite chilly. Uh, <laughs> so it's it's a good job I brought those extra pair of socks. The feet are still dry, uh, but I, I think I'll need to put them on, um, whether there's a clear sky or not. So I want to talk a wee bit uh, about talking. <laughs> um, I've been doing these videos now for around 10 years and it's only in the past couple of years that I've actually started talking on, on my videos. And that 
that was quite quite a big thing for me to do and I was very nervous and I, I didn't look at the camera properly so you couldn't really hear what I was saying. Um, I don't know if that was deliberate or not but I, I, I'm now at the stage where I, I quite enjoy talking to the camera and, and maybe do it too much. Um, though for me it's it's a great tool to, to be able to, to say more about the places that I visit and and, and give a add the description that the I suppose the film um gives. So there's something really, really cool about it. Um and I, I suppose I being part of the YouTube community um, I didn't really comment and, and watch other people's content all that much again until the past couple of years and, and I think I realise now just, just the importance of that and, and how valuable that is for me but also also for all those other people out there that are putting the, the, the work and effort in to, to create content for YouTube um, especially around walking and, and camping <laughs> that's mostly what I watch um, so I want to give a wee shout out to, to a, a, a few other YouTubers that, that sort of go walking in the mountains and, and do a bit of camping and the first one is, is Mark um, the Y Explorer uh, and Mark actually challenged me a, a wee bit probably a couple of years ago to, to, to maybe show myself a wee bit more because I was hiding away even commenting on other people's videos um, so thank you Mark that was uh, really helpful um, in, in terms of me um, being able to, to, to show more of who I am uh, the next person is Colin um, Frozen Mist uh, <laughs> while camping and Colin's really cool because he, he can just it's like you're you're sitting beside him because he just like has this big conversation, um, and and you feel that you're right there. Um, now he he would usually have a bottle of wine, or or some lovely food with him as well, but that's okay. Even if you don't have that, it it's it's nice to be there in his company. Uh, and the third person is Miriam Kennedy, and and Miriam uh, produces some really cool content. Uh, for YouTube uh, with her, with her uh, walking on wild camping trips and um, she has just started to talk in her videos and that's really really cool and really really amazing um, because it's not a it's not an easy thing to do um, it's, it's it's quite a big challenge so um, well done Miriam and thank you Colin and thank you Mark and I think I'm uh, going to get it into the piffy here because it's not too warm um, and, and hopefully get a good night's sleep. Right, good night. Morning. It's uh, just after 8 o'clock so I've, uh, I've been down for what? nearly 12 hours and you know what it hasn't been too bad um i had a pretty good night's sleep um it, it was cool enough so the double socks were were uh, much needed uh there was a couple of wee showers during the night as well but they were they were pretty light so uh nothing to really to worry about uh, so all in all a good night and uh i did hear a couple of sort of screeches or calls during the night. I don't know what the weather sounded like, a child sort of uh, squealing. So I don't know whether it was something like a fox or an owl or something like that, but uh, a wee bit scary. <laughs> Not too much. Um, and at times, just very briefly, uh, the, there was wee clearances in the cloud and uh, the stars come out. So it was sort of playing a spot the stars. So they sort of blinked sort of in and out as, as the cloud um, sort of came across, but uh, mostly it was just misty. Uh, the breeze held up during the night, so uh, no flying things. Uh, so yeah, a, a good night and it's sort of get, getting all packed up, getting some tea, and I'll, I'll make my way up to the top sleeve car, which is about one and a half kilometers, and then make my way back down again and I'm back off the mountain.
well packed. Leave no trace. Uh, should go up in here. Uh, that's the way to do it. So this is the way out of the forest and it has uh, fallen into a bit of disrepair so there's some of the steps missing um, and some of the boards are a bit dodgy and a wee bit of advice uh, maybe for myself um, on coming, uh, looking to come out of the forest I was looking for a, a visual reference um, for a clearing in, in, in the trees and, and I couldn't see that so what I should have done and, and what I eventually did do was was to look up uh, a map reference that, that I had and that took me straight to here so um, it's it's a short wee uh, path through the trees uh, and you wouldn't recognise it just, just uh, by looking for it um, so I'll, I'll put that reference um, in, in here So I'm now on the western way and that's, uh, this goes through some of this big expanse of forest here and it's really cool walking and it's pretty easy, it's, it's all along forest tracks um, and it does really feel like some of the walking I've already done, like a really remote place where you, you wouldn't meet other people. Though having said that, <laughs> I did see someone else this morning uh, while I was having my second cup of tea. Um, uh, by the curry lock, there was somebody else on on their way up sleeve car, um, and that's quite a rare sight, seeing somebody else in these parts. This is the second of the uh, sort of wilderness huts that you have here in in Wild Neffin. And this one's pretty cool as well. So as you can see, there's a good sleeping area. And I think you could easily get maybe three or four people in there. Um, and it provide a really good bit of shelter. So the, the whole thing's pretty sound. Um, there's a wee uh, box there with a, with a log book. And somebody's left some snacks in there as well. So these huts have like uh, a log book. Um, this one, this one here from 2019. So I put a wee comment in about my trip. But there's just loads of fantastic comments about how amazing this place is. And I would totally agree. I've seen a few of these uh, 
suppose young trees alongside the trail, uh, the forest trail. Um, they've had bits of bark taken off. So I'm not sure. I, my sense is something's probably doing this. I don't know if there's deer here. Uh, I've certainly seen wild goats here before. Um, and I've seen mink. I've actually seen two mink chasing each other. <laughs> One morning after a wild camp and I scared the bejesus out of me. I was, what the hell are these things going mad? Uh, So that's me finished, um, that was 29 and a half kilometres with uh, 1500 metres of climbing and I've been out for about 30 hours. So uh, it's been a really, really good couple of days. Um, the weather's been fairly kind, I, I know it was misty up in the tops and there was the odd shower but that's, that would have just made the trip even better, uh, I don't think I can really complain. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed having the time out um, and a really good night's sleep last night in the bivvy so um, this this part of Ireland and, and the wild Neffin and Mayo it, it, it always it always gives something really special and, and, and it has this time as well so um, hopefully it won't be too long before I'm back again